PHP 7 has a lot of new features that allow us to handle errors much more elegantly. Okay, so it has something called the throwable interface and errors and exceptions will implement the throwable interface and you can use throwable from within try catch blocks to catch both exception and error objects. Okay, now before we talk more about the throwable interface, let's take a look at the error class. So this is the base class for all internal PHP errors, okay, including fatal errors. And it has a couple specific properties. So we have the, the message, which obviously is the error message. We have the code, which is the error code. File is the file name where the error happened. And then line is the line number in that file where the error happened. All right, so the error class also has a couple subclasses. We have type error. This is when the return value doesn't match a, a certain type declaration. Parse error, which um, happens when there's a syntax error in either an, an included file or a return from the eval function. And then assertion errors, uh, a condition set by assert is not met. Assertions must be enabled in the configuration. And I have an example here of how to, how to do that. So PHP 7 exceptions. PHP 7 changes how most errors are reported. We can now have an exception thrown when a fatal, a fatal and recoverable error occurs. All right, now we still have certain errors such as running out of memory that will stop the script, but we will be able to uh, close our resources properly. All right, exceptions will bubble up until the first matching catch block is reached. And if a fatal error is uncaught, it'll act just like PHP 5 would. All right, so you'll get that blank white screen and um, virtually no information. <laughs> so fatal errors before PHP 7, they would not invoke the error handler. They would stop the script completely, having just a, a blank white screen, um, caused issues with resources that were not closed correctly. So for example, if you're instantiating an object and you have a destruct method and you have an error, that won't be run, that won't run okay so uh, certain resources won't close properly and it can be a nightmare to deal with so fatal errors in php 7 virtually all fatal errors are now thrown by exceptions so we can handle them more elegantly uh, they can be used in a try catch block exceptions and errors both belong to different classes all right and um, handling errors in this way allows us to properly close resources. So here is the new hierarchy. We have, uh, you can see two different classes for, for exceptions and for errors, and they both implement the throwable interface. All right, and here you can see the subclasses that we talked about um, in the error class. So this is the throwable interface. And you can see the different methods that are available. If you've dealt with uh, PHP exceptions in the past, you probably know what these are. Uh, get message, obviously gets the message. Get code, get file, get line, get trace, which is, brings back an array. But we can also use get trace as string if you want it returned as a string. Okay, get previous and to string. So here are some examples of a try catch block in PHP 7. All right, so we have try and then we have whatever code that we want to run that may cause an error. And then we handle our exceptions. Okay, this is nothing new. But then you can see we have another catch block here that um, implements the error, okay, error handling. So if you don't want to use both of these, you can also, uh, in, within your catch, you can specify throwable. All right, and this is basically the same thing as this. So this will handle both exceptions and errors. All right, so we can also create our own custom errors and exceptions. Now, when we do this, custom classes cannot directly implement throwable. All right, so they must extend either error or exception. Now, to do that, what we would do is create an interface. In this case, it's called my throwable and we're extending the throwable interface. Okay, we can have our code here. And then what we would do is create a class that's going to extend error 
and then implement my throwable. All right, so that's how you could create your own custom errors and exceptions. All right, so let's wrap this up. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how we can handle fatal errors uh, much more elegantly using PHP 7.